Hello and good morning. In this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a simple but very useful pendulum using just a small ball made of wood and a shoelace. Okay, so let's get started. I assume that since you are watching my YouTube channel, perhaps you want to do some energy adjustment on your own or together with me when you watch my videos and you need a pendulum to do it. And one of the easiest ways is to make pendulum by yourself with whatever you have in your house. Some people may find that they have some wooden balls or maybe you can buy it from your art and craft shop very simply or even uh, order something from Amazon. Just a simple wooden ball, uh, ideally it, if it's got hole in it. If not, then of course you can use a drill and drill it through. And I'm pretty sure you have some kind of shoelace at home or another uh, kind of cord which you can thread it in. And to make this pendulum is um, as easy as it gets. Basically you thread the shoelace through the hole in the ball, make a knot at the end so it doesn't go out like this. I would make another knot here so it doesn't move around. So we make another knot here to lock the ball so it doesn't move away like this. And basically we've got a nice workable pendulum. It doesn't look maybe as pretty as this one and it doesn't have um, as good energy as the professional pendulum but it's still useful, it's still very good for doing pendulum commands. You need to adjust the length of the pendulum accordingly so um, ideally it's uh, about one width of your hand like this and um, and you should have some some cord as well to, to, to hold in your hand. But um, I'll show you something else which I prefer. This one would be very good general pendulum for asking questions and also of course for doing uh, energy adjustments. But I prefer to use what I call now an energy adjuster which is a pendulum short but with a bead at the big bead at the end. Most pendulums they do come with beads in the end but they are tiny and uh, first of all the string is very long so if you hold on the bead it will swing around a lot and that bead is tiny but if you make a pendulum shorter like this and put a sizable bead at the end you can hold the pendulum on that bead and it will swivel like this easily and it's perfect for energy adjustments. And now bear in mind that when I um, and adjust energies, when I do pendulum commands, I usually walk around, I usually spin pendulum for at least five, 10, even sometimes half an hour if I've got a good session and I, I want to do a lot of pendulum commands. And um, using this uh, device, this kind of pendulum, I call it a pendulum energy adjuster, it feels really nice, easy to do it. You know, with a normal pendulum like this, of course, um, you can still do it very well, but it's not as comfortable. I tell you something, because you don't have a bead in between your fingers, you have just a thread, then that, th that thread moves around and hurts your fingers here. So after let's say 5, 10, 15 minutes, it is not as comfortable. It's not um, as nice to your hands as 
this simple uh, device. The end bead needs to be size which is comfortable for your hands. So um, if you can, you, you just basically check what feels right for you. For instance, this one is a little bit too large. This bead would be too small. And I feel like that bead is just fine for me because you know, like when I hold it with my fingers and spin it, it just feels most comfortable out of them all. Since we already have this pendulum done like this, and if you want to do the energy adjuster out of it, we just take another bead, thread that shoelace through it, and then, of course, it's up to you how short you want to make it. So I worked with different prototypes and I uh, tested different lengths of cord and I decided that roughly this size is the best, the most comfortable for me to use. So what you need to do is just to check how comfortable, how comfortable is, is it to spin. And if this is something you like, you just make a knot at the end. Just make a knot at the end and you have perfectly functional energy adjuster. What you need to do is of course, you just need to cut the end of the cord. If you don't have a wooden ball at home or you are not able to get it from anywhere at the moment, I'm sure you can use shoelace and any other thing at home, like for instance, a nut from your DIY cupboard or something else which has um, good enough weight and size to make a good pendulum, more comfortable pendulum for you. And, and you may probably uh, ask yourself the questions. Okay, so this is the professional pendulum. This is just pendulum made of shoelace. Will it work the same? So let's, let's try out. Okay, so in a moment, I'm going to do an energy adjustment for you, for whoever is watching this video using this simple device um piece of um, shoelace and a small ball made of wood and let's see if you can feel the energy because if it, you can it means it works it means you can use something like this at home for yourself and just uh, do energy adjustments whenever you want okay so let's do the energy adjustment for whoever is watching this video to test if this invention actually work. Okay, now I'm going to send you a fifth dimensional energy of abundance. Okay, I now send the fifth dimensional energy of abundance to whoever is watching this video. I want to adjust you to the fifth dimensional energy of abundance. May this energy enter your space and allow you to experience and benefit the fifth dimensional energy of abundance for the highest good of all. In loving service to our planet Earth and humanity. I'm now sending you the fifth dimensional energy of abundance. And may this energy be very positive for you, beneficial, healthy and safe. And increase your abundance in all levels of your being, in all directions of time and space, and in all dimensions for the highest good of you, your family and everybody else. 
I send you love and light and thank you. If you could feel the energy during this energy transmission using this simple homemade device, that means it works. And if you did, please write in the comments below, it works. If you want to learn more about pendulums, what pendulums I have, I use and I recommend, please check out my website, you can find link in the video description below. If you find this video useful, please give it a thumb up and I hope to see you in a new video. Thank you very much. Bye.